This is really fun. Oh, it's kind of cool. I get to feel like I'm some kind of alligator. Wouldn't it be crazy if I came face to face with a gator in here? Why? I gotta fly. I... Hey, what's going on? Ken in here. And uh, as you can see, today was a feeding day. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go into the back pond because of course after these uh, i see some movement that's why i'm whispering but uh of course after the cold snaps i want to make sure that the turtles in this pond most specifically the fly river turtles are doing well we sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at camp kennett this week's special shout out goes to Alex McLean. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. So we're gonna go into this pond and we're gonna do our, our turtle grab bag. It's gonna be fun. And uh, hopefully I pull out a living fly river turtle. I already saw one of the Batiger a finis swimming around, so that's a good sign. Uh, they've been basking and stuff, but I, uh, the fly rivers, they tend to like to hide in the mud, which is good because if they're in the mud, uh, they're insulated against that cold. So uh, this is what we're gonna do, people. We're gonna jump along, and I'm gonna go ahead and get rolling on this right here. So we'll have two cameras cooking. Oh, look, there's a batiger right there eating. And that's why I threw this lettuce out there so we could bring the animals to the top. So we're gonna start in this section. And all right, we're gonna start working our way into the pond. I'm wearing a wetsuit because I know it's going to be cold. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's chilly. Oh boy. All right. Let's see what we can find people. Let's see what we can find. Okay. The key is to find living turtles in the pond. And we want those we want to find these fly rivers. Um, they can be a little susceptible to getting cold and we don't want that. But I do run well water in here. So that's always good. So you gotta just scoot around looking for my quarry. Mm, interesting. And this just then turtles are very fast in the water. You know what's nice is I'm feeling some um, I'm feeling some areas of warmth, which is good. So that means the water didn't completely get cold. It still has some thermoclines in it. And judging by how my cichlids did, my African cichlids. That's good because they are way more sensitive to the cold than the turtles. They don't really burrow into mud to fish. Ah, yeah, it's definitely feeling warmer in certain spots, so that's good. Hmm. Wood. You know what, maybe I gotta go way out there because that is an area where there's a lot of sun. So let's go. Oh. Oh. And it's funny, as soon as you get in here, oh, the turtles know I saw a turtle over there. I think it's in a finish. Let's go see. Uh, the turtles feel the vibrations. Uh, they can sense when someone's in the pond they immediately go to the bottom and they start hiding and get, getting ready to avoid any contact with us pesky humans. So this area is shallow, which means first to get cold, but also first to warm back up. So I think we may get lucky. And again, just to give you an idea of the uh, bottom, the bottom is a really nice organic mud. Oh, and it's deep over here and it smells, it smells quite nice. It smells like the bottom of a pond should. Um, so there you go. Oh, I like to use my whole body to feel for the critters. I think 
Nice. Not over here. Nothing. Oh man, fish just went over there. This water's been clearing up nice too. And I'm mucking it all up again. <laughs> oh well. They usually like to go into that deeper area, so let's head that way and see what we can find. I just dredge. Again, we're just feeling to see who's in here. And sometimes you get surprises. You get something that you don't expect, like somehow certain turtles might make it over from the other pond. Whoa, that's a uh, that's nothing. That ain't it. Now we don't have the Mata Mata any longer. That went to my buddy, Chad House. So we're not gonna find that today, but it's about finding the Fly River Turtle. That's who I really want to make sure is doing okay. We also can go up over here because that's just PVC pipe. There's some good area here that the turtles bed down in. Oh, and it's nice and warm in there, so that's good. That is really good, people. Ah, uh, oh, nothing in here. We must be out and about. I don't know if it's a good idea when I, if I feed them, because then they tend to move around. Let's go back in here. It's, um... Man, it is one of those things where we just have to check all these animals to make sure they're doing well. And this is what my life entails, and I love it. It's a lot of fun. I just get to uh, really get up close and personal with my animals here. A lot of branches on the bottom. But I gotta tell you, I'm a little bummed out I haven't found anything yet that could be good or it could be bad. It could be good because that means they're moving around. It could be bad because I got to find a turtle. All right. I'm going to take another pass back this way. Oh, good news is this Hyperflex wetsuit's keeping me nice and warm. Because this water is definitely chilly. Uh, I would, I should take a temperature, but I, I'm thinking it's upper 60s right now on this thing. All right. Well, I don't feel anybody over here. This is so weird. Let's go this way. And strangely. It's easier if I'm down in the mud like this because I can really feel better with my whole body and then I can quickly spring into action instead of having to dive down. I just spring right into it. It's good treatment for my toes. Oh, man. Oh, this is really fun. Oh, more fun if we find a turtle. It's kind of cool. I get to feel like I'm some kind of alligator in the water. Wouldn't it be crazy if I came face to face with a gator in here? Eventually, when we do have alligators in here, I'll be in here with them. So that's going to be pretty intense. Whoa. Nothing. Go under the log. Okay. Nothing. Where is everybody? I know we saw some of them. Is my neighbor he probably thinks I'm a weirdo, <laughs> and I am. Anyway, we're still moving along. <sighs> up, 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 up. Damn, I had one. I had a turtle. Where'd it go? Ah, right here. It's a fly river. 
I think it's a fly. I gotta fly. I gotta fly. I gotta fly. Don't fly. Oh, oh boy. Oh my god. Oh, they do that fly river shimmy. Oh, let's get over here so you guys can actually hear me. All right. Cool. We got it. Let's see. Hi, everyone. We got the largest fly river turtle right here. All right, so psyched. So I'm just gonna shut that camera down for a moment and just let's give this guy a once over, huh? Let's see how he's doing. Looks nice and fat and happy and looks healthy. How great is that? Whoa, whoa, hey, how great is this guy? Man, that is so cool. He's doing well, I love it. So we got the one and it's safe to assume that if one is doing well, the other should be. Now, I'm definitely gonna wanna look around, but um, I love these turtles. And uh, what's gonna happen here soon is I was talking to our friends, Ed and Greg from Aquascape, and um, I'm gonna be building another pond in the next year. And it would be cool to have these guys in that pond. Just a larger pond for turtles, I think. Would it be cool just to see these guys more often instead of me having to come out here and kind of see what they're doing? The other cool thing, or the other reason, got a little helicopter up ahead of, is eventually there's gonna be alligators in here. We definitely don't want any fly river turtles getting munched on. So this is good, man. These turtles are doing well uh, in this pond. They've been out here for a while now. I just like to come out and make sure everyone's doing good. And of course, for those of you who've never seen a fly river turtle, it's also called the big nose turtle, but it is uh, basically a freshwater sea turtle in that it swims just like a sea turtle. Instead of paddle-like feet, they have flippers on the front, and so they swim exactly like a sea turtle. Both uh, front fin fins uh, move in unison together to propel them forward, and they can swim very, very quickly. Uh, these, they only come out of water if they have to find water, uh, if somehow some of their range, something is dried up, or if uh, they're a female and they lay their eggs. The other cool thing about them is when the female lays her eggs, she lays them um, during the dry season. And what happens is the eggs uh, incubate and develop. And then during the wet season, they hatch. And sometimes they'll hatch underwater. Being uh, immersed in water triggers the hatching. And so you can actually see this on YouTube. Uh, they'll hatch and then they swim right up, get their first breath of, breath of air, and they never have to leave the water. They don't have to do what a sea turtle does, which is very dangerous, right? Where it has to kind of trudge down the beach, getting attacked by crabs and birds and raccoons and all manner of predator. At least this minimizes uh, uh, their risk. So very cool. We got this turtle, feels so heavy. Uh, it's gotta be about a 25 pound turtle. So that's awesome, man. Uh, really stoked to bump into this one. It's always a pleasure. And of course there's that little pig nose. And then they even have two claws uh, on their flippers and those claws help them rip apart uh, some of the fruits that they eat in the wild. All right, very good. Ah, oh, there is our fly river turtle. How cool. Let me just get a nice shot. It'll go right back into that water. No issues. All right, what do you say we continue looking for some of the other ones? Let's see, we got this one went that way. I am gonna set you guys up again, pointing that way, and we'll see what else we can find. If we could find that other Fly River, that'll be really cool, because it'll give me some peace of mind. As you guys know, I love my animals, and I'm just trying to do the right thing for them. So here we go. Let's see if we can find another Fly River turtle. And that one was pretty active, so that's awesome. Up, 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 up. Oh my god! <laughs> How do you know? What do you say? All right. That is awesome. Look at this. We got them both. We got them both. Can you believe it? And that wasn't even planned. So cool. Oh yeah, that's the Fly River Turtle shimmy right there. Shimmy, shimmy. Okay, okay. We're gonna shut this one down again. And I'm gonna talk to you in this one. You got a little, a little droplets on the lens, so I apologize. How about it? Two fly river turtles looking fantastic. Two males. We have this murky water and it keeps them from fighting because if they want to get away from each other, it's very easy for them to do that. This guy had a wound. Uh, this is the one that went on the lamb. 
If you have been watching the channel a very long time, you know that one of them kind of went away for a while and found its way back into this pond. But you can see there was some a uh, little bit of damage there, uh, but it's a beautiful animal. And again, I'm feeling it. Good weight, uh, very alert and active after these cold, cold nights. They just burrow into this mud. Um, a few nights, one, two nights of cold, not really gonna bother these guys because the water is a fantastic insulator and I also run a well, which the water comes out at 72 degrees. So that's pretty darn cool. Um, the other thing is, uh, you know that mud is also a great insulator. But the mud, oh, look at this, here's a little, little damage, but that's just some healed stuff right there. And that is most likely from little nips from the other Fly River, okay? But you can kind of see they're almost like a softshell turtle in that they have a hard carapace, but it's covered by a leathery skin. So similar to a leatherback sea turtle, um, but this is a beautiful animal. And this is superficial. This happens from time to time, but the good news is, is that they're able to get away from each other so this doesn't become too bad. So very, very good to find this guy. Uh, awesome stuff. I'm so glad you guys are well. I saw the Badiger already, so there's no need for us to continue on and uh, search for the Badiger, because I know they're doing good, because they were up just a little while ago, and they were eating all the uh, romaine lettuce that I put in there. So, little pig nose turtle, everybody. I hope you guys dig it. My arm's getting tired holding this sucker up. I love it. So cool. Oh my gosh. Well, what do you say? We'll let him go, and uh, I, We'll say goodbye to you. Thanks so much for joining me on this little adventure. If you're new to the channel, thanks for joining us. We have a really great time here. We learned a lot about some amazing exotic reptiles that I keep on my property. And uh, the Fly River Turtle is just one of them. So go ahead and make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications. And most importantly, have a great day. All right, I gotta get back to work. See ya.